Nesach Sheni, part two. We mentioned yesterday that it started a couple hours ago. From midday today until tonight, there is a spiritual window of consciousness that's opened up. We're in it. We're in this vortex now. Literally 12 hours out of the entire year. A very powerful energy opens up where we could fix all sorts of things that we've been struggling with over the course of the year, over the course of our life, right. where you can make a move now. And we described yesterday that the energy of this time is that people who felt like they messed up, people who felt like they missed opportunities, specifically those that did not bring the Korban Pesach because they were impure. Those people, because they had a deep, sincere desire to grow and to be close to Hashem, were granted a second chance. A second chance. Where a new opportunity was fashioned for them called Pesach Sheni, which is this second. <clears throat> and on this day, which is the 14th day of ER, from midday until tonight, until midnight, is the time of the offering of the Korban Pesach and the eating of the Korban Pesach, which is eaten with matzah. That's also why we have matzah. That's a nice piece. So we have matzah. By the way, one of the reasons why that the, there's a lot of reasons why we like circle matzah. It's a big discussion. We also like that the matzah is like cupped. It's like a bowl, is that it's catching all the bracha, it's flowing into it. It's a cleave for all the bracha. That's why when you make that mozi, you have it this way. You don't have it this way. You have it, but it just catches all the bracha. Because the Korban Pesach had to be eaten with matzah and moror. But it's fascinating that you could have chametz in your house. There's chametz everywhere, right? You think. You think you ever see a box of matzah like this, just stamp a matzah on a table like it's not pesedek? It's crazy. So you can have matzah, you can have chametz as more matzah is flowing into the room at this very second. And yayin, apparently. Okay, thank you, Hillel. Oh, and Alex, more yayin. I didn't know it was going to be a whole seder. <laughs> That this time is an integrative time also, where there's matzah and chametz. You can't eat them together on Pesach Sheni, but they can be in the house. And the matzah that we're eating is also to remind us of the Korban Pesach in the same way that, what's the afikoyman that we eat on Passover night? What does that symbolize? The Korban Pesach. So matzah, is symbolic also of Pesach. So we're eating matzah now, and we're thinking of the Korban Pesach. What is unique about this day, and I want to go a little bit into a deeper topic right now. What is unique about this day? Anybody know what day of the Omer is it? Today is 29 days of the Omer, which is four weeks and one day of the Omer. 29 days. And we've spoken at length that each of these 49 days is purifying the entire psychological profile of a person's being. We're going through different energies. We spent a lot of time in Netzach together. But we're entering a new week. Today begins a new week. Today is the energy and begins this whole week. The energy, anybody know what it's called? Of hod, a hodu la Hashem ki toiv ki liyolim chastei. What does hod mean? Hod, yeah, gratitude. Hod means like hoda'a, means toda. Thank you. Hod, acknowledge gratitude. It's a whole week of gratitude and acknowledging, of being able to. Gratitude is a very humbling thing because it's it's implying that there's something that I can't do. When you say thank you, you're saying that 
you've done something for me that that was I, I, I acknowledge that you did it as if to say that I can't just do everything because you did something for me I'm so thankful of that now what's the most important gratitude to have that gratitude to Hashem that we're here because you can't create yourself you know who thought that he could Paro Pharaoh says a very interesting statement. To me is the Nile River, and I made myself. What part of you that wasn't here before made the you that's here? Finite is a non-starter. Something has to be above finite. It's called infinite. So the first step of just acknowledgement is that there's a God, there's a creator. That I can't, I'm, I wouldn't be here without you. I wouldn't be here without you. That's such an important reality. And by the way, what's the first word that a Jew says every single day? Besides, oh, it's early. <laughs> Which he should never say. He should say, it's early. Bo Hashem. It's time to get it for Shachas. But no, ah, oh, that's not the first word. That's not even such a great word. In general, if you mean, oh, that's a good kasha in the Gemara, then I hear that. But what, what, ah, like a pirate? Like, what are you so upset about? What's the first word that a Jew says every single day? Mode, Mode which means what? Thanks. Thank you. I acknowledge. I acknowledge. By the way, do I say, ani Mode? What do I say? Mode. Mode ani. Mode ani. Acknowledge, do I? Like Yoda. That's why Yoda's the Yodea. He's the guy that knows stuff. Ke Yodua. Okay? Mode ani. This is a bit of a deeper idea because there's no ani until there's a part that could just acknowledge. If there's an ani, that ani is from the dark side. But Ani, who, who is this Ani? Oh yeah, then after there's a me, okay, yeah, thanks. No, 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 there's no you. You only become a you after Mode, acknowledge. That's very deep. That means as your soul's coming down back into this world from the sleep time, essentially what you're doing is coming back, igna Mode, then Ani. Only after the mode is there even an ani to talk about. And then the rest. So we're beginning an entire week of hod. And why does hod begin with Pesach Sheini? Okay, there's so much to say in about two minutes. So we'll just try to pack in a little bit. But I promised that I would read something from the Zayar. So let's at least do that. Don't fall off your seat. Natan Ezra. <laughs> We'll go slow, we'll make it shavala chol nefesh, we'll make it, we'll simplify. But the great Sfarim teach us that this week is a very, very big week. Some people don't say tachan in the whole week, you can speak to the Rosh about that concept. The week of Hod is a very, very tremendous week. Of course, Hod, Shiba Hod, the deepest expression of a Hod, what day is that? Lag Ba Oimer is also, which is Motzi Shabbos. My family is going to be here. We're going to have a nice Hadlaka Motzi Shabbos here in the yeshiva. It's going to be very special. So what is happening during this week of Hod? So says the Zoya. We also have to keep in mind that we're exactly 30 days now from Pesach. 30 days from Pesach which a lot has happened in the world. We're 30 days from Pesach. And on Pesach we said, Chol dor v'dor oim dimaleinu l'chal yuseinu. Ve'akodesh bo'chu matzi leinu miyodam. We've been through a lot in these 30 days. Look what now we're up to. Says the Zoya, Kivan de Knesset Yisrael, Mis'atra ba'atara b'nisim. Since Kalal Yisrael in the month of Nisan, meaning on the first night 
of Passover. We're given these great crowns. What were the crowns that we received? Every single person here on Seder night, on the night of Passover, received a very, very big light, like a download. Everybody knows Seder night is like a special thing. It's not a regular night. It's a night that's completely day. It's a one night out of the year that's completely unique. Everybody knows that. We do absolutely unique things on that one night. And we receive these great lights. Very, very powerful energy. Essentially, all the energy that will carry us to Shavuos was downloaded on Passover night. During the 49 days, we're just unpackaging that light. That's why, get ready for next year's Pesach and make sure that you're, you know, pumping on that night. And that's why so many people over time have experienced direct contact with Elijah the prophet on that night. It's a very powerful night. And Hashem does not remove these lights. He keeps these lights, these spiritual downloads, <clears throat> with us for 30 days. Until today. And all these 30 days, from the time that we left Egypt, and that we brought the first Korban Pesach, the Passover offering, so to speak, the Queen, the Queen is re referring to the Shechina, which is referring to the way that God is interfacing in this world, and that we're experiencing godly energy in this world, and all of the queens, Chevra, all of the Shekhinah's energy are very, very happy during this time that the lights come down. They're given to us these great crowns. And this whole period of time, the Shekhinah is very available. God's divine presence is very felt, is very available. And therefore, because this energy comes down to the world, man de boy, lamachme, lamachunisa, yochel lamachme. Anybody who wants to go and visit the queen and receive that energy and receive that blessing is free to come. They have 30 days to do so. Make sure you come to visit the queen. She's there and she's appointing out and apportioning good things for everybody who wants to experience it. However, after that, Karuza Kariz, a very, very powerful proclamation goes out, a heavenly proclamation, which says, Kol mandalo yochel matronisa. Anybody who sadly did not take advantage to come and be with the queen while all of that blessing was being given out during these 30 days, for whatever reason, whatever laziness that came upon you, and you did not come, come quick before the gates are closed. The queen is here and she wants to give tremendous blessing and goodness. Come quick, there's a heavenly voice going out today. Come now before the gates close and you're no longer able to access that light. And therefore, Ba'arba Emosai, Emosai, when Kruz occurs, when does this great voice go forth? Ba'arba Asaleyarcha Tinyona. This heavenly voice goes out today on the 14th day of Ia. And then hear the famous words. And the voice says, for seven more days, we will keep the gates open. 
is supposed to close, but a heavenly voice goes out that you have seven more days to take advantage of this opportunity. The opportunity that you maybe thought you lost. Pesach Sheni is you didn't lose the opportunity. If you thought you messed up your life and you didn't go visit the queen when you should have and you did all sorts of stuff besides going and doing something productive, Pesach Sheni tells you there's hope for seven more days to run. To run and pour your heart out before Hashem and say, all I want is to be connected to you. And this is the time that for seven more days the gates are open. And then after that time, which means the entire week starting now, it's called Tar and Psichen, the gates are open. The final opening of the gates. And then Mikan Ulahola Yinu Tare, and then afterwards the gates will be closed. The Alda Pesach Sheni. And therefore, this is called Pesach Sheni. That's why the open gates, when they're supposed to be closed, exactly is right now, at the time when people think all hope is lost, you have this last chance. This last chance to get what Hashem was giving us on Pesach and really get ready for Kabbalah Satayr. So this last week is a very, very powerful week of Haid. And specifically, I wanted to go into more the power of what is the unique energy of today? It's Chesed Shebehod. It's Chesed Shebehod, the kindness within acknowledging. So there's literally a million things to say, but I want to say one thing from King David, that King David revealed a secret to us. When do you usually say thank you to God? After you're saved. After a person survives something, after he's saved from something, he makes a goymel, you go on a flight, you come back, Torah reading day, you make a goymel, you cross the desert, you make a goymel, something happens, afterwards you say thank you, Hashem for saving me. King David lived at a level that he was thanking Hashem even before he was saved. He was literally... <laughs> You have to look up Tehillim Yud Ches. Okay, the Psalms 18. That he's already thanking Hashem. He's literally being chased by his enemies to kill him. Like, Thank you Hashem for saving me. Now appreciate the following. We don't usually think this way. We usually say, I'm, help me! Save! Or after you get something, you're like, Shkoyach. I needed that, you know, Maybach, whatever, whatever you're into, okay? So, after you get the thing you want, you say thank you. Before you have it, you're like, I need it. King David, while he is being chased by the enemy, he is thanking Hashem for saving him. That level of emunah and betachan, that you're already thanking while you're in the place of darkness, brings out the kindness of Hashem. That's what's called chesed shebehod. That I reveal a hidden kindness through saying thank you even while I'm in a dark place. That's the Pesach Sheni. That even when I'm in a dark place, I know you have. I know you, even while you're going through Lo'aleinu, the treatments and the physical pains, in that place, Hashem, thank you that my stomach will feel good. I know it. Thank you, Hashem. And that attitude brings out a hidden chesed. There's so much more to say about how we can apply this, the powers of chesed, shabahod, to our friends. This whole week is very powerful. Take advantage of this week. So what did we learn today? Pesach Sheni. Pesach Sheni is another chance. Pesach Sheni is the time that you think that you've messed everything up. These hours now, 
from noon today until midnight, cry to Hashem, cry, say Hashem, I know you're going to give me another chance. I know it. Thank you already for that second chance. Thank you for being there for me. And you'll see Hashem will put the opportunities in front of you. That's Pesach Sheni. And the gates, the Zayar is saying, are open now for seven days. The gates are open now. Go through this experience of Hayd. Acknowledge. Be somebody who's a Modeh before an Ani, human being. That you're built of acknowledging and helping and giving and just a chesed shebahod. I just give and give. And those who give, I acknowledge those who give. We should be zoich mamish the tremendous blessing during this week. This whole week of hoid is gewaldic, unbelievable energy. We should be mamish zoich to understand what matzah is, understand what korban pesach is, understand the power of what Klal Yisrael is here to bring to humanity. And we should be zoich mamish to see Mashiach Tzidkeinu together with us, bringing the Korban Pesach, the Kibbutz Goliath, V'seche Zeno, Eineinu B'Shuvuch HaLatzion, B'Rachamim, with the Binyan Beis HaMikdash, B'Mherav Yameinu, Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day, my dear friends.